We're sure that many of you dream of living a debt-free lifestyle. And if you're like us, then you've often considered alternative housing options, like mobile homes and tiny houses, to make that dream a reality. It's easy to get sidetracked when researching alternative homes and end up daydreaming about what it will be like to live in a fabulous million-dollar mobile home. That's how we stumbled across one of the most expensive mobile homes in the world, a stunning 4 million double-wide mobile home for sale in Malibu, California, located in Paradise Cove, the world's most expensive land lease community. That's just a fancy name for a trailer park, by the way. This place looks like something straight out of a design magazine. Today on the Infographics Show, we're going to bring those mobile home daydreams to life and explore what it would be like to buy this amazing and unique $4 million mobile home. I'm a rich and famous Hollywood a no wait, I'm an Oscar winning movie director, no, that's not quite right. Ok, I've got it, I'm a successful writer with a string of hit TV series under my belt and some money in the bank, I'm looking to find a place to settle down. Even though I'm super successful, I've never let my success get to my head, and I just want to stay true to my small town roots. I don't want anything ostentatious or over the top, just a simple, comfortable home. The only problem is I really want to live in one of the most expensive neighborhoods in the country, Malibu, California. My real estate agent has shown me countless homes in and around Malibu, but every one of them has been too expensive or needs too much work. Plus, they're all so big and I worry about time and money it would take to maintain such a lavish home. I suspect that my real estate agent is getting frustrated with me, but I just want to find the perfect home. I check my phone and I see that I have a text message from my real estate agent. She says that she's found the perfect property for me in a star-studded neighborhood, and she wants me to meet her there right away. Only after I agree does she send me the address, and as soon as I type it into Google, I can see why. She wants me to meet her at a trailer park. Knowing she's already waiting for me there and intrigued by how close to the ocean this place is, I hop into my Porsche, hey, it's my daydream, and I head to the trailer park. My real estate agent is waiting for me at the gate and looking sheepish. I'm barely out of the car before she tries to sell me on the trailer park, or land lease community as she calls it. Just trust me, she says. Forget everything you think you know about trailer parks and mobile homes and give it a shot. Feeling guilty about all the houses I've turned down so far, I follow her through the gates. So the property we're going to see is one of the best lots in the park with amazing views, great gardens, and lots of updates. Best of all, it's a great deal at only $3,995,000. What do you mean only $4 million? I said. No offense, but that seems pretty pricey for a trailer. I can see why you might think that, my agent replied. But you have to consider what you're getting for that price. You of all people know how expensive homes in Malibu are, she says. I can hardly fail to notice her subtle jab at my quick dismissal of every property she's shown me so far. A typical home around here this close to the ocean would sell for more than $50 million, and renting a place in Malibu could easily cost more than 50 grand a month for a place even smaller than this trailer. Remember, location is everything when it comes to real estate. I know she's right, but before I can agree, she hits me with another bombshell. The lot fees around here are $25,000 a month, she says. Whoa, I say. That's crazy. Why would I pay rent if I already own the place? I know it's a new concept for you, she says patiently, but although you'd own the home itself, you wouldn't actually own the land it sits on. The lot fees cover the land lease, as well as lots of maintenance costs and amenities. Think of it more like condo fees than rent. Alright, I say, I like the idea of not having to do my own maintenance. What kind of amenities are we talking about? I'm glad you asked, my real estate agent says as we walk past a well-maintained tennis court. Paradise Cove Park is one of the premier land lease communities in the country. The park landscape grounds are located on prime Malibu land with scenic views, and the state-of-the-art community center and recreational facilities are world-class. As we walk further into the park, she points to a trail on the side of the road. Park residents have direct access to a private beach, she says. Just then, a gorgeous blonde woman who looks oddly familiar steps off the trail in front of us. Hey there, she says, you must be new here, I'm Pamela. Hey Pamela, I say, shaking her hand, I'm just here today to look at a potential new home. Have you lived here a long time? I've lived here for a few years now, she says. I moved in temporarily while my home was undergoing renovations, but my sons loved it here so much that we couldn't bear to leave. It's such a great community, I'm sure you'll love it here. Wow, that's good to know, thanks for sharing, I say. No problem, she says, flashing me a million watt smile. See you around. See, my realtor says with a smug smile. What? I say. Oh please, she says with an eye roll. Don't pretend you don't recognize Pamela Anderson. I told you this was a star-studded neighborhood. Wow, I say as I shake my head. I have to say, Paradise Cove is nothing like I thought a trailer park would be like. I told you to trust me, she says. Paradise Cove is one of the most expensive and exclusive land lease communities in the country, and it has one of the lowest crime rates of any neighborhood in the state. Plus, you can't underestimate the social and emotional benefits of living in a close-knit community of like-minded individuals. Ah, here we are. 
I look around at the modest but adorable house in front of me, taking in the tasteful exterior and immaculate landscaping. I don't understand, I say. I thought you were taking me to see a mobile home. We prefer the term manufactured home, she sniffs. Prefabbed homes have a bad reputation, it's totally undeserved. It just means that the structure was built in a factory before being moved to a place. In fact, that trailer and even the wheels are still underneath the home. The truth is, manufactured homes offer better quality at a lower cost per square foot, plus the utility costs are lower. They're less expensive to maintain and they're more environmentally friendly. That's good to know. Exactly how big is this place anyway? I ask. Great question, she says. Typical manufactured homes are up to 18 feet wide since that's the maximum size that can be moved on a trailer on public roads. This particular model is what's called a double wide, which means it's actually two units parked next to each other. Including the master suite edition, you get an impressive 2,500 total square feet of interior living space, with none of the narrow hallways or small rooms you'd expect to find in a trailer. Alright, I say. I'm impressed so far, but let's see the inside. I can't wait to show you, my agent gushes. Interior design for manufactured homes has really come a long way in recent years. You've heard of Jennifer Seagal, I'm sure? She asks. Um. No, sorry, I admit. Oh, well, I'm surprised, she says. She's a very famous interior designer who specializes in manufactured homes. Her philosophy is that the smaller your footprint is, the bigger your design impact can be. This home is a true example of that principle in action. I don't appreciate her condescending remarks, but before I can come up with a snarky comeback, she opens the front door and I'm left speechless. I walk into a spacious and lavish open concept living area with vaulted ceilings, hardwood floors, and designer finishes. I can hardly believe I'm in a mobile home. I pick my job off the floor and manage a week. Oh, I know, smirks my real estate agent. Not exactly what you were imagining, is it? I don't bother to answer. Instead, I head straight into the state-of-the-art kitchen just off the living room. One look at the custom cabinets, granite countertops, and luxury fixtures, and I'm already picturing myself whipping up a gourmet meal while chatting away with my guests in the living room. Never mind the fact that I can barely be trusted to reheat leftovers. With reluctance, I let my real estate agent lead me away from the amazing entertaining space and past three gorgeous guest bedrooms, complete with spa-like ensuite bathrooms, on the way to the first surprise room. An impressive office fit for the most distinguished professional, complete with a custom wood ceiling and built-in bookshelves. We make our way to the addition that houses the master suite, and as soon as I see it, I know I'm in trouble. The master bedroom features panoramic ocean views, an ensuite bathroom with spa-like soaker tub, and an attached custom dressing room that would make mornings a lot more tolerable. Best of all, the master suite provides private access to the best part of the property, the outdoor space. As amazing as the interior is, the highlight of this spectacular mobile home is definitely the outdoor space. With areas for cooking, eating, and relaxing, the immaculately landscaped garden almost doubles the living space of this home while camouflaging the fact that you're in a trailer park. And talk about a million dollar view! The entire park is on prime land, but this lot in particular is one of the best in the park, complete with breathtaking ocean views. Between the magazine-worthy design and million dollar views, world-class amenities, and star-studded neighborhood, this Malibu mobile home is enough to convince even the most refined house hunter to consider a move to the trailer park. There there's only one thing left for me to say. I'll take it. As fun as it is to imagine living the good life in a $4 million mobile home in America's most high-end trailer park, it's not the only small but luxurious home that's inspired tiny living daydreams. If you love the idea of a small home but just need a little more space, the container home trend will provide plenty of inspiration. Shipping containers are inexpensive, stackable, and can be put together in endless configurations, leading some people to create some truly stunning examples of container home design. One family in Denver, Colorado created a truly custom home out of seven shipping containers. Their two-story, three-bedroom home has plenty of space, is full of designer finishes, and features incredible mountain views from the rooftop deck. But the most impressive part is the whole structure was put together in a single day. RVs and trailer homes are more suitable to the nomadic lifestyle if you can live with even less space. Giving up space doesn't mean giving up comfort and style, though. If you thought $4 million was a lot of money for a mobile home, just wait until you see the world's most expensive RV. At almost $4 million, the Element Palazzo is a luxury yacht on wheels. It even has an extra powerful motor to handle the weight of all the marble used in the interior. And if you think you've seen it all when it comes to luxurious alternative homes, you have to check out the UK's most expensive houseboat. While modest looking from the outside, 
This converted 1930s barge offers more than 5,000 square feet of lavish interior living space, including five bedrooms with en-suites, a two-story living room with a floating fireplace, a sauna, a trampoline, and even a jet ski platform. No wonder it was recently listed for nearly $5 million. Mobile homes are not only a great solution to the current affordable housing crisis, but they can be a great investment. Even Warren Buffett, the world's most successful investor, is getting into the real estate game. His investment fund purchased American mobile home manufacturer Clayton in 2003 for $1.3 billion. We're probably going to have to settle for something a little more modest when it comes to our tiny dream home, but it definitely is fun to daydream, and it's more than a little encouraging to see that going small can pay off big, even in expensive places like Malibu. If you like this video, then we've got two more episodes you have to check out. $1 million will get you a house like this around the world, and most expensive things in the world. You're going to want to watch both, but you've got to pick one to start, so click now and go watch.